All right, here we are doing a site visit for the 2010 MATE International ROV Competition. What you're looking at is the gymnasium, which is where the team workstations will be located. And the door that you see in front of the big gymnasium building is the door that teams will enter to come to the pool. So you'll walk into the pool area. There is the pool building that you're seeing. And now you're seeing the pool and mat. So you're coming in this area, about right here will be where the Explorer on deck circles are located, coming up on the pool. This is the quote unquote deep end, which is six feet deep, and this is where the Explorer mission stations will be. We'll put two along this side of the pool, and the third one will be where the water polo goal currently is. We can move that out and that's where another Explorer class mission station will be located. I'm going to pan around, pan around as you can see it's a huge, huge pool. There's the beautiful and I should have mentioned brand new. It's called the Student Life Building. It, in addition to you being the facility uh, where there are locker rooms and such for the pool. There's also a workout facility in there. Really beautiful. There's an aerobics room. There's punching bags in case you get frustrated. And um, offices, a snack bar, and all that great stuff. So I'm going to come around. I'm walking along the, the pool deck next to the Student Life Center, or the pool building as I called it earlier. A lifeguard station with our friendly lifeguard who will be here to make sure that you don't fall in the water and anything happens to you in June. When we come back, they'll have great music playing. Entrance to the locker room, I think that was the men's. Here we'll have some bleachers set up in this area too so parents and other spectators can hang out and get a good view. There's the women's locker room. Here's the entrance into the building. Um, there's a foyer with some seating. Um, we're looking to put the Ocean Career Expo in here so our wonderful sponsors will be nearby and it'll be convenient for the students to go in and talk to potential employers. There's also a snack bar in there. You can see the um, a room with all the equipment, bikes, treadmills, that's going to be uh, no access unfortunately. Coming around to this end of the pool, this is a shallow end, the four foot end. Um, we'll have a practice uh, area here sort of on this corner and wrapping around there. Cindy Fong, we're following her, she's the Burr Regional Coordinator and responsible for bringing us here to Hilo. We'll have some practice stations along this, this side where you see the chair. Um, this is an area where we'll look to put some bleachers down here um, to accommodate more spectators and parents and everyone who's coming out to watch it. I'm walking back to this grassy area because this is where we anticipate putting the ranger class on deck circles over in the, this grassy area, somewhat behind the bleachers if some bleachers indeed go there. And then we're going to come around and on this side of the pool, along this length from here to, uh, let's see, the lane lines, I'll keep walking. We envision putting the three Ranger class stations. Now I'm, I'm saying this with the idea that we're going to have three Explorer class stations and three Ranger class stations. If we need to do more, we'll accommodate this pool is plenty big enough. Um, there's a lot of deck space. It's really fantastic. Um, as you can see, it's not a, an indoor pool. Um, we'll have tents and other things put up uh, to keep us um, out of the sun and if some rain showers come in out of the rain. So we're w making our way back around. If you'll remember, here's the water polo goal that I showed you from the other side of the pool. And this is where we anticipate putting one of the Explorer class stations. Coming around, coming around, coming around. One more feature just to show you before we finish this off is sometimes you'll wonder when you ship your ROV, when teams ship their ROVs to the venue, where do they live before you can get access to them? Well, they're going to live in this building right over here. So if you're shipping your vehicle, teams shipping their vehicle 
to the competition. The vehicle is going to be stored in here. And no, unfortunately, teams won't be able to access their vehicle until um, Thursday after the opening ceremonies when we all come to the pool. So you come over here, get your vehicle, go back over, go through those doors, go into that building, which is where the gymnasium is and the workstation is, and get set up. And when you're ready, come back on through the doors and come back to the pool. There you go, the pool venue for the 2010 Mate International ROV competition. Aloha.